Hey YouTube, Vermont Prepper. Uh, in my previous video regarding the charging system, uh, we went through a check to determine, at least theoretically, with uh, some good evidence, that my passenger side alternator was bad. And one of the things that you look for is if your key is in the on position, both Gen 1 and Gen 2 lights should uh, light up. You have to have a closed circuit. Uh, you, so you have to have a bulb in there, as I mentioned, in each one, even if they are bad. But uh, you want them both good because that makes it easy to check. So if the Gen 1 and 2 lights are on when the key is in the on position, that's a good indication that uh, your charging system, at least from that perspective, is okay. All right, so when you turn the key, I changed out the alternator, and I'll show you that in a second. And you turn the key on, you see Gen 1, Gen 2 lights on, which are great. Okay, so we're going to wait. Alright. Now start it up. There's the uh, new alternator right there. And the last thing is to check between the uh, negative on the frontmost battery to the positive on the rear battery, which is that one. And that should be about 28 volts. Now, I'm not going to be able to do this because I uh, am doubling as a cameraman, but I'm going to uh, do that and I'm going to come back to the video. I shut the truck off because it was pretty loud and hard to talk over. I uh, wanted to give you a close-up of the nice new alternator, courtesy of Hillbilly Wizard. And uh, yeah, it's, it's working really good. I checked it and I'm getting 29.4 volts. Uh, when I check the uh, negative right here to positive back there and remember I said in an earlier video if you get like 28 volts or better then the system is charging properly I was getting 26.5 I believe or 0.8 I forget what it was but uh, it was in the 26 range obviously not working properly and causing my batteries to drain so looks like the alternator was indeed the problem uh, as we suspected if I was still getting 26 or so volts uh, I would have had to have done additional checks and most likely it may have been maybe it would have been um, in that case maybe something in the wiring or uh, I think there's some relays underneath the uh, dash that could go bad as well but 99 times out of 100 uh, if you have those voltage drops like that it's most likely going to be an alternator I mean you know those things work hard so in any event uh, this is the project uh, we're all set and now I should not have any more problems starting up uh, after a few days batteries should be well charged okay everyone uh, Go ahead and uh, hit subscribe if you're not subscri subscribed to the channel. Hit like, and uh, I always like comments, whether they're good or bad. And I try to respond to them if you have some questions as well. All right, Vermont Prepper out, and uh, hope you all have a great day. Take care.